Bam, check it out. Finally came in, had some issues with the shipping, but it's here. Today we're gonna to be installing the uh, Ford Raptor grill as well as the letters, because if not, it just says like D-O-D-D, -D, and we don't want that. So let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, go ahead and get in, into this. Uh, we've got a lot of clips to remove. And so we're gonna start off with removing the clips all throughout here. And by removing this top plastic panel, uh, we'll actually show all of the bolts that hold in, of course, the top of the grill, as well as the wiring that goes directly to the uh, the front hood, uh, the front grill vents, excuse me. And then by taking off this clip, uh, of course, on this plastic panel and the one on the, the driver's side, it will remove and show, will ultimately show the two bolts that hold in, one on each side, the bottom of the grill. So I will go ahead and do, the, do that for you guys so you can go ahead and skip right along. Alrighty, boys. So we got this off. Oh, man, the zoom is still throwing me off. But we got the grill off. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to remo remove the grill vents from your grill. And that is, you actually, I already took one out, but you have to take off these, uh, I, like they're like pull pins. They're similar to push pins, except you literally just, I just got a pair of pliers, pulled it right out. That's obviously how that one came out. As well as we also have uh, some bolts on the back, if you see right there, we've got that one right there, as well as some some going around as well. And then let me show you, you've got some kind of weird connectors on the bottom. So right there, 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 and of course that will be it. We can remove that. We'll uh, attach it to the grill over there. And once I get that all done, I'll show you guys. All right guys, so as you see, the grill has been installed. Uh, disregard the uh, no headlight. It's actually a really cool air intake mod actually the truck goes faster just kidding so um by removing that headlight i made things a lot more difficult but i'll briefly explain and then i'll show you guys everything in the daylight uh tomorrow but the grill is completely put back together uh minus uh the headlight of course and the uh the radiator cover the front engine cover whichever you would like to call it but the grill comes with this auto with this wiring which is really easy plug and play directly to the light of course or directly to the grill of course excuse me and then I removed, of course, the uh, previous letters to put on the F and the R, and then plugged up the three connectors to the grill, which runs directly over, and here's the wire. And I, what I did is uh, connected it to the marker light. This is the marker light, whether you have the Anzo headlights like I have, or you have the stock headlights, this is uh, the smallest connection, the smallest connector, and it is, again, the marker light. And the one that I spliced to, so hopefully it focuses, is the yellow and brown wire. As you see, I just did a, uh, what looks to be really complicated, but is actually really simple, uh, T splice connector. I'm not entirely sure. This is my first time wiring anything together, and you'll see in just a second. So that is the, the positive cable, uh, the positive wire, and I ran the negative right over here. It's uh, exposed at the moment. I'll get that all hooked up and I'll show you guys tomorrow. But once again, once I put, uh, everything has been completely connected. Everything is all good. The wires, all I have to do is put in the headlight and show you guys the rest of it tomorrow. But check it out. Everything lights up. Let's check out everything in the daylight. <laughs> 